What's up, everyone? It's Shaletta. I'm here getting a phone for one of my newly minted teenagers with Xfinity Mobile. They've got great options, affordable plans, and solid coverage that works for our whole family. With Xfinity Mobile, my daughter can stay connected with me wherever she goes. And did you know when you sign up, you can get an extra phone line free for a full year? Switch to Xfinity Mobile today for more savings, more smiles, and more ways to stay connected. In Minnesota, we pride ourselves on our nation-leading voter turnout and safe, secure elections. Elections allow us to make our voices heard and stand up for the communities and issues we care about. To exercise your right to vote, first make sure that you are registered to vote. After registering to vote, make a plan to vote on or before Election Day, Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. Learn about how to register to vote, cast your ballot, find your polling place, and more by visiting mnvotes.org. Finally tired of doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results? Well, this show is going to help you change your life for the better. Strap on your seatbelt and navigate this roller coaster we call life with human potential expert and best selling author, Dr. Verna Price. Each week, Dr. Verna blesses you with her virtues to live your best life so you can be the best you that you can be. Welcome back to Dr. Verna's Virtues. So glad to have you back. For those of you who are brand new, my name is Dr. Verna Cornelia Price, and it's great to have you join this podcast. Um, please listen in and subscribe and share with your friends and family as well. And for my regulars, I hope that you had an, an amazing week and it's good to see you again. Thanks for continuing to listen. I appreciate that. And be sure to share this work. That's the goal, to share the work. All right. So let's go ahead and start with our affirmation. When I was born, I was born valuable. I was born important. I was born lovable. And I was born extremely powerful. And no one, no one, and nobody, no body and no thing, no thing, nothing can ever change that because that's who you are. You are a valuable, important, lovable, and extremely powerful person in this world. That's who you are. So we all enjoy being around people. And most of us like um, having friends over or, or kind of having what I call the noise of life, right? Happening around us, there's movement, things are happening and um, there's lots to do and maybe you have places to go and maybe you have maybe have like these different kind of busy things you're working on and making happen and you're going from here to there and you're just moving and you have this technology and that technology and you're answering the phone and you're doing this and you're doing that. So a long time ago, <clears throat> asked, oh, someone asked me the question and the question became, um, are you busy? Or are you doing busyness or are you doing business? Okay. So the question became, are you busy doing busyness or are you doing business? So all of this kind of what I call the music of life, right? You have people calling, you have things going on, you're moving here, you move there. When all that music stops and you take a look at your life, you must ask yourself the question, am I busy or am I really taking care of business? Question. And, and, and if you're able to answer that question, that all of this moving around, all of this music you're making, all of that, that when that stops, you know that it's because you have been taking care of business. But I challenge you that when the music stops, when there's no one around, when there's no, you know, uh, movement and busyness, when you just have to sit down and get done when that music stops are you getting it done are you taking care of your business or are you just busy okay now in terms of taking care of your business there's three types of 
things that happens in your life at all times. And these three things, you said three ways of looking at your life and looking at you. Cause what I'm trying to get here is productivity because you can spend your life just in the music of life, just moving around and people everywhere and talking, talking, talking. And, and all you're really doing is talking, talking, talking and being busy, but there's nothing changing in your life. There's no outcome. There is no productivity, right? You, you're not taking care of the business of your life. And let me just say to you, no one else is going to take care of the business of your life. That That's on you. you you've got to take care of the business of your life. To do that, here's a strategy. There's three ways to look at what it is you need to do in your life, okay? There is a, there's a category called things that you just like to do. It's the like list. You just like to do it. You like to talk on the phone. So guess what? You got your phone all the time. You're always talking to someone. I even see people that got the phone stuck up here and stuck there. I mean, it's everywhere, right? You're always talking to somebody. You like to talk. The question is in your talking, are you getting any business done? What's the result of the talking? Or you just, you just like to socialize. That's your like list. Some people, they just like to write. So guess what? You're writing all the time, but is it helping you any? Is it helping your life any? What, what are you doing, right? So those are things that you just like to do. And we all have things we like to do, and we should do them. Why? It helps to keep us healthy, and it helps to keep us mentally well. I mean, we should do things we like to do. And then there's a list called nice to do, okay? And this is, I put the nice list in, like you just simply want people to like you. So it's a people pleasing part of your life. So you're doing these things because you want to make sure you maintain these relationships where people think that you're nice and they're nice to do things. But I'm telling you, you will, you'll make music in that part of your life. But when that music stops and you stop just being nice because, and, 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 and I'm not saying not to be nice. I, I'm just saying that when all you're doing is being nice so that you can please people, but you're not getting any of your outcomes done, you're not, you're not getting any productivity done, you're still the same place, but you're, but you're trying to be nice so you're not doing what you've got to do, then it's going to be a problem for you. So that's a nice list, okay? And then there's this list called things that you should do. These are things you should do. Now, let me just tell you, there's nothing that you absolutely have to do in life, really. The only thing I have to do in this life is stay black and die. That's it. That's it. Right? And I can't help that I'm black. My people were Africans. They were Caribbeans, you know, born in the Bahamas. You know, I'm a descendant of slaves. I, I'm a black woman. I'm going to stay black until the day I die. And I must die. I'm going to have to die. We all do. Right? So those are the only two things you have to do in life. Everything is in, in everything else in life you get to do. You get to do. Okay? So in your should list, these are things that really, when you, what I would call them is like sort of like catalysts or sorts of things. They open the doors to other things. So there's that meeting that someone invited you to and you know, you don't have to go to that meeting. You know, you're not required to go to that meeting. It's not mandatory. But you know that at that meeting, there will probably be at least two people that if you met them and connected with them, they may open the doors for something else for you in your life. So you probably should do that. Because in connecting on that should list, that should list is typically connected to a catalyst for something else. In other words, it creates other opportunities. There shoulds. These things are shoulds. But it's not, it's not like, you know, if you if you decide I'm not gonna go to that meeting. Or you should probably write that um apology note to that person you clearly offended the other day. Clearly. Clearly, right? And you know you offended them and you should. Do you have to write that letter? Nope, you don't. Okay. Um, does anyone else know you offended them? You and God, you know, and the other person knows, right? So it's not like you have to, but if you did write that, the next time you saw that person, your, your interactions will be different 
Or the next time that person talks about you to someone else, that report will be different. So there's a should list. Okay. Now the should list, it gets you a little closer to you getting to your business. Remember, I'm talking about, are you busy? And when the, the music of life stops and all that busyness, are you taking care of your business, right? So the should list most often will get you to closer to taking care of your business. So there's the like to-do list. There's the nice to-do list. There's the should list. And then there is the must-do list. Now, the must-do list is what I call the cause-effect list. This is where your business, your productivity, your outcome, it lies in the must-do list. So for those of you who you want to publish that book, there are some things that you must get done. You must put aside time to write. You must put aside time to think. You must put aside time to connect with a pot potential publisher or editor or, 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 or an illustrator, right? You must put time into that. You must re redo your schedule. There are some things that you must do, right? You must take care of your financials, right? You must pay your bills. You must, you know, if, if you own your own business like I do, you must connect with your team members. There are some things that you must do. And here's what that must list does, okay? Now, everything doesn't belong in the must list. And some of us, we get this mixed up, and I do sometimes too, where I think everything should be on the must list. Everything does not belong there. So with my assistant in setting up my meetings, uh, we put my meetings into categories. If someone says, oh, Dr. Bernard, I would love to meet with you. Well, I put that in a, is that a nice, is that a nice meeting? Is that a should meeting or is that a must meeting? So I run a nonprofit, the Power People Leadership Institute. If one of my major funders calls and says, hey, Dr. Bernard, we should get together. They're saying a should, but I know that that's a must. So then I put that on my must meeting list, right? That's not a, oh, it's a nice to do. Uh-uh, that's a must because it results in something else. So that must list is a cause effect. Cause effects simply means if you do this, then this is going to happen. So just a little tutorial to help us all get ourselves resituated, get ourselves kind of back into a place of having high productivity, high high outcomes in our lives so that we are not wasting one minute, one second of our life simply being busy and not taking care of business, all right? When the music stops, have you just been busy or have you been taking care of your music and of your business? All right, so let's go ahead and finish up with our affirmation. When I was born, I was born valuable. I was born important. Was this helpful? I hope so. I was born lovable, and I was born extremely powerful, and nobody and nothing will ever change that. All right, see you next week. Bye. Get caught up on previous episodes of Dr. Verna's Virtues at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. You know Shaletta makes you laugh, but did you know Shaletta Brundage can also make you think and boost your business? Media personality, activist, and comedian Shaletta Brundage founded Shaletta Makes Me Laugh to celebrate and share the best of black culture. It's a podcasting platform. You can download 10 weekly podcasts hosted by African-American subject experts at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com is also a production house, creating broadcast quality commercial content. And Shaletta and her team of storytellers create powerful promotional campaigns to get businesses the brand awareness they're looking for. Some of Minnesota's top businesses trust Shaletta, and you can too. Get out the word about your events and products and get in front of communities of color with ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. She's got the power to help your business. Mark your calendar for October 17th. That's Open House Day at Summit Academy OIC. And that's where your next career begins. In just 20 weeks, Summit Academy can prepare you to be a medical administrative assistant, IT specialist, carpenter, 
electrician, or financial services professional. These are good paying jobs in high demand in the Twin Cities. Summit Academy will not only prepare you for a job with advancement opportunities, they'll help you connect with employers and hiring managers. That's right, Summit Academy has a list of local employer partners ready and eager to hire Summit graduates. At the open house, you'll meet Summit instructors and staff. These incredible people will guide you through the entire process from application to graduation. And if you're looking to earn your GED, Summit can help with that. Come to Summit Academy's open house, located at 935 Olson Memorial Highway in North Minneapolis. Find out more at saoic.org. And we'll see you October 17th from 3 to 5 p.m. COVID-19 cases are on the rise and peak flu season is almost here. Save time and get the updated COVID-19 vaccine and your flu shot at the same time at hy V. Schedule your updated COVID-19 vaccine and flu shot online today or just stop by any hy V pharmacy whenever it's convenient for you. No appointment necessary. Plus, when you get your flu shot at hy V, earn a 20 cent fuel saver. Your hy V pharmacy is here to help you and your family stay healthy. Are you the parent or guardian of an adult with autism? If your loved one has no restrictions through court order, then they are eligible to vote. And you can assist them in many ways. Some citizens with autism don't like unfamiliar places and activities. These voters might prefer to cast their ballot at an early voting center. Leading up to election day, these early voting centers are less busy and less likely to require waiting. Early voting centers are open all over Minnesota, and you can vote there right now. Or you can request an absentee ballot to vote by mail. That's right. Eligible voters can cast their ballots without ever leaving home. On election day, curbside voting is another option to make voting easy and comfortable. Election judges will bring a ballot directly to the vehicle with the person with a disability. Make a plan to support and assist your loved one with autism this election season so they can participate and exercise their precious right to vote. You can find out more at mnvotes.gov. That's mnvotes.gov. 